y'all doing? How y'all doing? I just want to tap in real quick, like I said. Um, just have a moment of silence for Kobe and his daughter and uh, the passengers that was on that um, helicopter that crashed. <clears throat> so, you know, that is very um, unfortunate. Like, I know a lot of people are really feeling some type of way about it today. And, um, you know, I just wanted to come and give my condolences as well to all the family and surviving members of the people that, uh, you know, didn't make it in that event. Which leads me to the topic um, that I wanted to talk about, which is <clears throat> really the fact that, you know, life is so short and we never know how much time we really have left you know and so that's why it's very important that we make sure we take the opportunities then when we do have the time to do things because sometimes when opportunities come about you know we may or may not ever have an opportunity to do the same thing again and since we don't really know you know how the opportunity is going to present themselves and when they're going to present themselves then we need to make sure that we're always taking advantage of the times that we could be doing the most you know what i'm saying and not like half stepping um <clears throat> you know thank goodness um and thankfully you know mr bryant wasn't somebody who decided to half step on his abilities and his talents and skills to make something happen you know he had to just imagine how much he had to really believe in himself and probably had to motivate him. like you know have you ever thought about what it takes to actually make it to that level of success like how much commitment how much in endurance how much drive how much you know motivation how much persistence you have to have to be able to actually you know deal with that level of success <clears throat> on a daily you know <clears throat> excuse me i gotta <clears throat> congested a little bit um this weather is so crazy you know it went hot and like extremely cold the next day i don't know where you at but um i'm by the beach and it's still like that so it's kind of um doing a little thing to me but I, i'm gonna drink some tea tonight and go ahead and just knock that out of the way because i don't have time for that okay so um like i said you know i just want to come and make sure that you know what i'm saying i deliver words of encouragement and motivation to those of you out there who are really touched by the situation you know let's not dwell on the negative part of it but let's really see what we can take from it and how we can use it as motivation um to help us you know continue to move forward and do great things um in his honor you know he did great things he made great achievement he has paved the way for those um to come behind him and continue on the legacy and the uh, ability and the challenges and the obstacles that he was able to overcome, you know. And so um, he was a great, great manifester. And I just, like I said, want people to channel, you know, the energy of Kobe, channel the energy of Nipsey, channel the energy of these, you know, great young leaders that we are getting and that are, you know, um, leaving us so soon. But let's not hold on to it and dwell and, you know, be down about it. Let's really try to see what more of us could do to reach that level. Because think about how we feel about those losses. You know what I'm saying? That means that they really made a difference and they really touched some lives and affected some people while they was here. Like, wouldn't it feel great to have people look at you that way if, you know, you know, you was to leave tomorrow? And since we never know how much time we really have left, you know, what are you really waiting on to try to achieve the next level of greatness or success or be the best version of yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, what? why are you really holding back from whatever it is you want to be doing and being whoever it is you want to be? Like, can you really foresee yourself in a position that you say you want to be at in five to ten years? Do you really believe that you're going to be there and do you really have believe you have what it takes to make that happen? Like, if you don't and today is, you know, 2020, you know, if you don't see yourself and really believing that you can even get to where you want to be in the next five years, then you need to look at where you, where you at with it today and see why not. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you need to do that you could really boss up on and step your game up on to be able to make that happen in the next five years? Like, and then once you start 
looking into it and researching and seeing, you know, you may find out that it's not as difficult as you think. You may find out that you already have some of the credentials and requirements. You may find out that you already got the money. You may find out that you already really have the resources and stuff that you need. You know, you just never know if you ain't even started looking into it to see what it'll take to make it happen. You feel me? A lot of us don't move forward on trying to be successful or do the next best thing or the next bossed up thing because we don't even know what it's going to take to make it happen. You ain't even looked into it yet. Do some research, you know what I'm saying? Like, Google some things, man. Ask around. Network. Check out, you know. Ask people who are already doing what you do, how they do it, how they did it, you know, what you need to do to be able to make it happen. Like, that's what I mean by utilizing your resources. Like, even if it's somebody that you work for or work with, you know, don't be scared to ask, man. People will give you free knowledge. You know, a lot of us are just... We keep ourselves oppressed and we keep ourselves from moving forward because we won't even ask for help. Like, we, you know, we got people around us that probably could really tell us the answers, but, <clears throat> you know, maybe you're not looking at that like a resource. So, you know, changing your perspective and your way of thinking and looking at things will really make a difference in how you come about, you know, the information that you need to be able to do some stuff. So, like I said, once again, you know, take these losses um to our communities you know to our industries and to you know our our families just like use them as motivation to know that ain't nothing wrong with trying to do better you know what i'm saying like if you die tomorrow what would people have to say about you you know what is your legacy going to be what will they have to say about you while you were alive and, you know, maybe that's not important to you. You feel me? Maybe you, maybe you don't care what people will say about you. I probably would care. I think I probably care more about what they have what they have to say after I was gone than what they have to say while I'm here. Because the thing about it is people ain't going to always, you know, see things out of your, your eyes and from the same perspective as you see them until you make them see them, you know. But it may take a lifetime for you to do that. So at the end of the day, like, if they can find out about it afterwards, I'm still okay with that. You feel me? As long as they got some good shit to say, you know, I don't want I don't want um, them to just talk about surface level, um, you know, narrow minded things that don't matter. Like, oh, you know, yeah, she she was different. She was, you know, she could dress, she could put some stuff together. Like that's cool. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that, but that's not important. Like, you know, it's not making a difference in anybody's lives unless I encourage somebody to be a designer, or unless I encourage somebody to be a stylist, or you know, unless I encourage somebody who wasn't being true to themselves to come outside of their box you know and so of course then it does make all the difference so that's why i feel like it's important to come out as myself and be myself and be true to me because when people start seeing you as true to yourself they really will respect understand and, and begin to look at you in a different way you know um because they look at you as, as being true to yourself you know what i'm saying and that's really important nowadays um if you're not being true to yourself then why are you trying to be so much truer to others? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why would somebody else's opinion of you be more important of you to yourself? Um, and I know I speak to a lot of people when I'm, I'm saying that because I know that I'm not the only one that has felt that way. Um, but I have definitely overcome that obstacle and I, so that I no longer feel like um, I have to prove anything to anybody. I don't have to not be me and I don't have to try to convince them why I am me. You feel me? The only person that you really have anything to prove, the only person I ever had anything to prove to and the only other person that any of us ever have anything to prove is ourselves. <laughs> prove it to yourself, okay? Stop expecting more of others than you expect in yourself. Start expecting more of yourself and stop expecting more of others. Stop expecting everybody to understand you. Stop ex expecting everybody to accept you. Stop expecting everybody to agree with you. Stop accepting everybody. expecting everybody to participate with you. Stop expecting everybody to help you. You know, stop expecting all of that. Look at it. Hell, if they're not doing it for themselves, don't expect them to too much do it for you either. People can't encourage people when they don't get that self-encouragement. It's like they're not self-motivated. You know, don't expect much out of them if they're not giving it to themselves. Start expecting more of yourself to give it to you. Maybe you can boost them, you know what I'm saying, and encourage them. Like, come on, man, know your role and know where your strengths at. And then start to realize and understand what other strengths are too. You know, be realistic with yourself about yourself and about your expectations of others. Stop expecting people to boost you up and motivate you and encourage you. A lot of people don't even know how to do that. You know, a lot of people don't want to support and encourage. You know, just think about it. You don't you don't want to share my shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, think about it. If I'm on here and I'm telling you good stuff, good information, but I don't see as many shares as I see people liking or see people tuning in, then cl clearly we're not connecting on somewhere, okay? Because the thing about 
helping and sharing and caring is to spread the word, spread the knowledge, spread the help. How, how are we going to make a mass movement of change in ourselves and others if we don't lean out of help? You ain't going to make much change on your own. I hate to tell you, you know what I'm saying? And if you ain't never seen that memo or got that memo, I just posted it. So now you know. Hey, man, it take the teamwork make the dream work. You know, it, it's very hard to be a one-man show and be successful and move at a productive and effective way. You know what I'm saying? If you're trying to really achieve something on a major scale, but you don't want to link up, reach out, work with, um, support, help, encourage, and motivate others around you that are on the same mission and path, that are trying to do the same things that you're doing, that are trying to go the same way, you see that, you know, their movement is, is steady but slow but mediocre or whatever the case is and you feel like well dang you know you can see where you working with them could actually put more progress on both of your projects why wouldn't you do that you feel me like it, somewhere along the lines we're not connecting the dots and we either don't understand how important it is to do that or there's something within us that will stop us from doing that because I don't every time somebody tag me and something send it to me if they call me and say they want to do something I'm with it I be with it you feel me like I'm with it let's do it let's make it happen let's team up you know and I always specify and make it understood I don't I'm not trying to jump on your project and have you jump on mine I want to work with you on whatever you're doing you feel me help me to push mine and I'll help you to push yours because now we have two platforms instead of one let's link up and spread out that way we cover more ground and we cover more people you got a whole different audience than I do you know I'm not worried about anybody being my competition I don't see competition you feel me I only see positivity competition is not bad if it's positive and then it's constructive and it's helping us to be like you know competitive in a friendly manner but I don't I don't worry about somebody stealing my show or taking my audience or getting my you know whatever the case is because we can't we not the same people anyway we don't do things the same we don't you know see us. hey y'all how y'all doing i'm sorry i see the words i just i if i stop and talk if i stop and speak i lose track of what i'm saying you know but i don't i don't y'all we gotta we gotta begin to really embrace our individuality like you know what i'm saying it's so awesome to be an individual Stop looking at people as weird or different or strange because they don't look like you or because they don't have the same fashions as you or because they don't see things the same way. Like, learn to accept other opinions and views. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can all agree to disagree. We don't all have to think the same. That's the beauty of it. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's good that we can work together because then we bring different aspects and different values to the table. That way nobody has to worry about stepping on each other's toes and stuff. Everybody is unique in their own special way. You know, and I'm here for it you know what I mean? that's why I like i come out the box and i could be somebody different every day if i want to you know what I'm saying? i love this shit that's what makes me me you know so i'm encouraging others and, and inviting others and giving you permission to be yourself man all right stop holding out and worrying about like i said the 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 opinions and impressions of others and the acceptance of others and the validation of others don't live your life like that live your life for you make sure that you're happy you know what i'm saying before you make sure that other people are because you can't give more of yourself to others than you have to give all right give it to yourself and then you can give more on a on a on a larger scale to others okay that's kind of how it works but you can't have more to give than you got to give it don't work like that you'll be in the negative you'll always be lacking and you'll always feel like you're falling short okay things will feel like they're not working out for you your load will be heavier than it has to be all right you feel it you know it accept it be honest with yourself and figure out how to get yourself up out of that that situation that rut that feeling all right you want to be on the other side of that all right you at least want to have a balance with it you don't want to be too far over here or too far over there all right so get your chakras and everything aligned up y'all it's 2020 time to get in 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 good positive and vibrating on good frequencies okay keep them high keep them elevated don't stoop down to the other person's level and then when you feel yourself getting up there reach back and try to uplift the next person okay because some of us are just stuck down and we need help all right because we don't have it all right so i love y'all thank y'all for tuning in thank y'all for joining me this is your girl jazzy she boss in the building if you don't know i have a platform on the youtube okay and i also have a podcast on spotify and apple Podcasts as well also on anchor check me out that is she boss talks that's talks with a z that's s-h-i-i-b-o-s-s-t-a-l-k-z all right head on over to the website at www.shebox21inc.com got some great things over there y'all sign up register for the upcoming courses and events got she boss university on the way for y'all ladies listen it's the year to boss up man we got big things coming 
big things popping, little things stopping. All right, we ain't doing that no more <laughs> this year, y'all. Come join me, ladies. Woo! It's the century of the feminine energy, and I'm here to receive that. All right, I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I speak number infinite blessings and abundance to you and yours. Love you all. See you soon. Later.